Hi guys, my name is Rachel and I'm here in our animal clinic uh, where we keep some of our animals that are not currently on exhibit. And in honor of World Rat Day, we're here to honor our rats that we have at the Springs Reserve, the kangaroo rat. So I have one of our friends right over here in this tank and I have moved him out of his normal larger tank so that you guys can see him. And we're gonna see if we can maybe coax him out with just a little bit of food and see if he'll come say hi to us today. Kangaroo rats are nocturnal, so during this time of the day, they would normally be sleeping. So I had to kind of wake him up a little bit today to get him to come out and see us. Hey, buddy. Hi. So I'm gonna put some food in here on this little stump and let him have that if he wants it. So the first thing that you notice about kangaroo rats is that they have gigantic long back feet. And those are just like kangaroos and that's where they get their name. They use those big back feet so that they can get away from predators. These guys are pretty small. Uh, they're actually the smallest species of kangaroo rat. And so they're a pretty good snack for a lot of our Mojave Desert predators. And so those big back feet can help them jump up to six feet straight forward. And they use their long tail like a rudder to help them steer back and forth. The next thing you might notice about them is they have really large black eyes. And those eyes are actually to help them see in the dark. So they're nocturnal, like I said. One thing you can't see about them is that they have these really cool external cheek pouches also. And those cheek pouches help them kind of like grocery bags do when you go to the store. So they come out during the evening and they, they go out and they forage for food. And the foods that they're looking for are things like seeds, um, and forbs that they might find. And the reason they look specifically for those kinds of items are because they're full of moisture, full of water. And they actually don't drink any water. So they get all the water that they need from the food that they eat. And so in the evening, they'll come out and they will forage for seeds and they'll stuff those cheek pouches full of all the food items they find. And then they'll take that food back to their burrow and they'll store it and they'll cache it in that burrow and eat a little bit at a time. And that way, they don't have to make multiple trips up to the surface, which is where they would potentially run into predators. Kangaroo rats are really fun. You can see they're kind of curious. Um, they're usually pretty busy hopping around and, and pretty interactive when they're awake, which is always fun for us to, to say hi to them. This particular animal always comes right to the glass when we feed them and sticks his little feet up in the air and waits for us to come in and say hi and, and he waits for his dinner. So he's one of our favorites. As cute as these guys are, I would probably say they don't make the best pets. They're very jumpy, as you can, as I said, they jump up to six feet straight forward, and they're a little bit more skittish than some of your pet rodents that you might find in the store, like a gerbil or a hamster. But we hope you guys enjoyed getting to visit them today, and we hope to see you again at the Springs Reserve soon.